Hey guys, uh, this video is going to be slightly different than my other content because today we're going to be taking a look at different ways to record audio for vlogs. So I really want to test out different ways to record audio in a real world vlogging environment. And today's vlog is not going to be anything glamorous, but it's going to be very, very realistic in creating just about the worst vlogging environment that you can ever think of. And this is our first space. It is an indoor space. It is sort of controlled. There is a ton of reverb in this space is not treated at all. My window is open right here and there's like traffic outside. My washing machine is running because I'm doing my laundry while filming this video. This is not some kind of like sound treated studio. So this is like a realistic indoor environment in uh, filming audio. Currently you're listening uh, this audio on the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus and this is sort of like what everyone uses in terms of vlogging. It sounds very good. Some people say it's shotgun, but Rode actually says it's a super cardioid, which means that it's going to focus audio on the front end, but also it's going to open up the space a little bit more to the sides. And what we've been using on this channel are lav mics, because I can get this much closer uh, to me and Kathy, and I think that'll just make you be able to hear what we've been saying uh, better in noisy environments. Anyways, I've switched to the Ceramonic Blink 500. And yeah, this is how the Blink 500 sounds. First thing that I know for a fact is I can walk around now. I don't have to be near the camera. I can be like here and pointing you guys to my laundry that is currently drying. In the majority of times, this is how my apartment looks. It's like totally messy. Uh, unless I'm filming a video and then I'm going to clean this up. But, and I can like really walk around. I can walk next to the washing machine and you guys can hear uh, how my washing machine sounds. Anyways, lav mics are not like a super, super amazing solution for vlogging because it's also got its own quirks. First, transmission. There's something called RF interference and I didn't know about this until I got a lav mic and that is basically uh, the signal interference between the transmitter and the receiver because there are a lot of signals that can interfere with a lav mic. In just about any single electronic device, there's some kind of RF interference in a very, very noisy environment. By noisy, I don't mean noisy for us. I mean noisy for radio frequency signals. And this can get pretty messed up. So every time that we're vlogging, we actually pin this to the outer side of our pockets. We try putting it inside of our pocket and just that sheet of fabric sometimes blocks the signal and that gets really annoying so we have we have to pin this to the outside another thing is you have to worry about cloth rustling so for example if I do this it's, it might be super annoying try vlogging at winter like for example if I put on my jacket you can barely hear the high-end frequency of my voice and also this jacket is just really bad for rustling you can't hear all of that that probably sounds really annoying. Of course, there are things that you can do to a lav mic to make it better. First, for example, uh, you don't have to transmit this data back to the camera. So if you just record locally on this device and like hook this up to an audio recorder, then you don't have to deal with the transmission delay. But then you introduce more problems, like you gotta deal with audio syncing. And if you hand this off to an external editor, then you have privacy problems. Like you can't even go to the bathroom because if you go to the bathroom, um, you got this thing on and they can hear your shit, okay? Although laugh mics allow for a greater degree of freedom in vlogging, they do come with their quirks. Now let's do a very realistic vlogging test uh, with different microphone solutions. And today is a very exciting day to vlog because today we're going to get a haircut. And also today we're going to go get tested for COVID. Exciting, yay. Yeah, this is my boring ass life. Uh, today's activity is bringing the trash out. And this is something that lav mics can do that a shotgun can't is my audio is not tethered to the direction of where I'm pointing. So it doesn't matter if I'm vlogging like this. This button's like broken. Or like this, uh, the audio is going to sound exactly the same. And this can also be a con for some people because they want the audio to change with the picture. Okay, turns out it's raining today. I was gonna try to relate this to some kind of microphone problem, but it equally affects both. Haircut done, and now I've switched to the Real Video Mac Pro Plus, and now I'm going to get the COVID test, and it's pretty far, so I'm going to take the subway to get there. And this is a good opportunity to talk about battery because with a single charge on the Rode Video Mac Pro Plus, 
I think you can get this to like 30 hours or something. But Lab Max, that thing barely holds up for like 10 hours of uses. So for one day of vlogging, oh gosh. So for one full day of vlogging, you need to worry about turning the lav mic off. And that means that it gives you more things to fail on your end. Because if you have like three things to turn on and off, sometimes you'll miss one of them and you won't have audio. Okay, never mind. Everything is wet. I can't ride a bike today. Gotta walk to the subway station. This is what I mean by traffic. Like, if you're in the middle of the road, then traffic becomes a real issue when you're vlogging, especially if you've got an onboard mic. This should be pretty noisy. All right, this is another very noisy environment. And this is a good time to talk about safety channels because with shotgun mics, you can have a 20 decibel safety channel. And that basically means that you will barely ever peak. That's something awesome about shotgun mics that I hope a good laugh mic system can get. I'm going to be going through a lot of very quiet and very noisy environments throughout my day. And I want it to be both clear at the same time. Again, back to the lav mic. We are now again in a very, very busy street. And hopefully the sound isolation works a lot better with a lav mic. Because according to the inverse square law, the closer that you get the mic to the subject, the more signal that you're gonna get. And that signal is actually the square of the distance. So every single bit of distance matters. We're right next to the busiest street in the world. Also, I feel like it's very important to clarify that the audio you hear in this video our process because in a real world vlogging environment you are going to stop on EQ to correct for the frequency differences between microphones and also uh, this is going to be going through compressors and multi-band compressors because realistically that's also how you would use a typical microphone okay turns out I'm an ass I went for a COVID test but I forgot to bring my passport so now I have to go home and get a passport and because my home is pretty far, so I caught a cab and it's freaking expensive. This is also an environment that you guys might be dealing with. It's car interiors. How do we get clean audios in car interior? Luckily, car interior is pretty easy. We don't have crazy environmental sounds. So uh, let's test out some different microphones in here. And while we're at it, let's throw in this microphone in the mix. This is the Rode Video Micro. And for a lot of situations, this is the microphone that I pick up. And also when we're filming on the ZV-1, it's pretty ridiculous to put anything bigger than a Rode Video Micro on top of it. So. Uh, this is also something I'm interested in testing. From other reviews, I've noticed that the frequency response of these type of microphones are not as great as the Rode Video Mic Pro because to my ear, they just sound very boxy. So let's throw this on and let's see how this sounds. Okay, so this is how I sound with the Rode Video Mic Pro. So if these are the microphones that you're using, this is the sound that you should be expecting in this sort of environment. And for comparison's sake, this is how it sounds on the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus. At last, let's throw in a control. This is recorded on my iPhone. This, this is how my audio sounds on the iPhone XS. The iPhone uses an omnidirectional mic, which means that it's not going to isolate my sound from the GPS, but it's like right over there. Okay, I just had a quick close in. It turns out I really like the sound from the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus, but the problem is, for some reason, uh, mine just has an awful audio crack in the background. And that doesn't sound good at all. But I found that if you turn on the attenuator and then boost up the gain, you can get rid of all of that audio pop. All right, this is how I sound with attenuator on. And this is how I sound with attenuator off. This is how I sound with attenuator on. This is how I sound with attenuator off. And so now I'm actually recording with the attenuator on and I'm boosting the gain up a whole lot to compensate for that. If you didn't know, an attenuator is basically the opposite of an amplifier. Amplifier boosts up the signal. Attenuator basically reduces the signal. So in this case, I've actually turned on the attenuator and then boosted up the gain uh, on the camera. So I'm interested in hearing what's the noise floor on this? Because if the noise floor is really low, if you put a high gain and an attenuator together, if the noise floor is really low, then this can completely solve the problem of the audio cracks. Uh, 
Okay. Okay, very awkward. Turns out they're closed for today, so this is such a failure. After that, I felt really down for not being productive for today and decided to take a break from the vlog. So I haven't filmed this much since. Then I realized I haven't eaten anything for today and it's already four. So I ordered some stuff and while I was eating, a guy comes up and jokes about how my dead cat looks like a hat for the camera. Anyways, other than on-camera shotgun mics and live mics, voiceover is your last audio solution for vlogs. This is sometimes used for aesthetic reasons, but most likely we do this because the vlog failed and we need to fix it in post, like what I'm doing right now. For this, I'm just recording on my Rode Video Mic Pro Plus and the Sony PCM-D100 audio recorder. And I'm in this like dark corner because I usually record voiceover in my closet because I just put clothes everywhere and it's like a very sound treated space. And in this case, I'm actually recording audio on my iPhone and that's because this space is so sound treated that for YouTube, we can actually get by with just the phone. In conclusion, which mic will I be choosing for vlogs? And the answer is always, it depends. I know it's very anticlimactic, but if I were to draw a definitive conclusion, it would be that if we're going to a crowded environment, like if it's like a classroom or a conference or on the street, we're gonna pick the laugh mic because the laugh mic does so well in sound isolation. But if it's more run and gun, like for example, if we're going on a road trip, then most likely we're gonna pick the shotgun because it's so versatile. And I know for a fact that this is not gonna get any signal interference unlike the lav mic. And if I'm really in a pinch, like for example, if I left my camera at home and I need to film something, I am so gonna film that on my phone just because I'd rather have that footage, right? I would definitely encourage you to experiment with different microphones because people on YouTube in general just put a microphone on top of their camera and just film and their audio sounds so bad. Microphones are like lenses. You gotta choose the right lens for a project. There's no one lens that can do everything. The takeaway for this video is get one lab system and get one shotgun system and use them interchangeably for YouTube. Okay, this is actually like a really, really uncomfortable position to film in. While we're at it, let's do a bit of ASMR. I'm not sure why some people would like ASMR, but I guess that's a thing now. Okay, that's the end of today's video. If you like it, please subscribe.